Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Diane and today I am so thrilled to be showing you my bathroom makeover for under 200 bucks. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't really have a theme in mind uh, for this transformation, although I got some inspiration from Pinterest, of course. And they're all leaning towards a bright, airy, uh, clean, fresh looking bathroom. Something that's cool but still warm. That's it. Very simple, right? Well, whatever. I don't really know. So let's rewind to about two weeks ago so that you get a really good visual of the space that we are working with. So enough of the talk and let's get started. As you can see, it is a pretty decent sized bathroom. It is just downright boring, bland, and dated. Um, I feel that this space has a lot of potential but since we are just renting, the things that we can do here are very limited. Here you will see mismatched decor pieces, paint, even the hardware and fixtures are just all different. Plus the floor, although we always keep it clean, has some stains on it. And to be honest, it's just not pleasing to the eye, let's just admit that. And because of that, I feel that it's kind of hard to work with the decor and the overall look of this bathroom because your foundation is just not cute. So I started taking out some of the things that will get in the way. Uh, I don't want to ruin the new floor, so I will start painting first. Oh, I'm so excited to finally give our bathroom a makeover it needs. Anyway, after that, I went ahead and removed all the fixtures and hardwares from the walls and drawers. And yes, yeah, you can see I prefer the harder way, so I didn't use a drill. Wiped all my cabinets and walls, of course, to make sure they are squeaky clean. And then patched up the walls. Um, it is my first time and I super enjoyed it. I think it took me 45 minutes just to patch seven holes. <laughs> Of course, to make things easier, I am putting on some painter's tape, but of course, you can use any tape if that's not available. I am painting the walls white, and this is by the brand Bear. I got this from the Home Depot. Just painting the walls white already gave an instant brightness to the space, and I am so happy that I have successfully patched the walls as well. It looks pretty seamless after the paint. I went ahead and tackled my cabinets. This is in the shade Fresh Tone, uh, still in the same brand. Because this girl is on a budget and in a hurry, there were some things that I skipped like sanding off the cabinets and I'm just going to reuse our old hinges. The paint is fully even and absorbed after five layers and I'm finally done! Package arrived just in time before I changed my bathroom fixtures and hardware and I'll be using them tomorrow. Eight hours later and I'm calling it a day, I am so exhausted, my back hurts, my knees are in pain, but I am very pleased with what I've done today. Hello, good morning everyone! It's day two and the breaking news is that I'm not satisfied with the cabinet color. I think that it's just too light or maybe I have to finish the floor first. So let's get back to it. This is definitely something I've always looked forward to and I can't stress enough how much I've wanted to change the floor and it's finally happening! I am using this brand Traffic Master in the shade Taupe Oak. Um, my initial choice was like a mid-tone brown but it's not available. But honestly, any color as long as I change our current floor is already more than enough for me. It's so easy to work with this peel and stick brand and very rental friendly as well because there were several times I peeled and sticked it back to the floor and also the way I did it was I interchanged one whole plank and a small one just so it would look like the real thing. Um, it's also very easy to cut however I realized too late that I should have done it vertically. I think it's easier that way but Thankfully, I have my husband and my son to help me, so day two okay. done! Good morning, everyone! Today is day three, and I would just like to give you an update of how the bathroom is looking after two days of hard work. Do you like the floor? You like it? 
Uh huh. Yeah. So the floor looks and feels very natural. It has a texture, so it imitates the real wood. So I super super duper love it. We're going to look at it. The floor and the cabinets are two very light. It's actually blending very well. Too well. Too well that it's not breaking the mood. It's not breaking the vibe because they're both cool tones. You know how you're supposed to play with warm and cool tones and it's not here. And I know you might be saying that it's too early to say this. I know I can play with the decor, with the towels, I can put brighter colors. Yeah, I, will, I am with you. I already thought of that. I was thinking that I could paint here with an orange, yellow tone, like a darker tone. Just for this color to pop, it's just that this is like a blue tone and it's not my tea, you know? So no 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 so right now we're going to uh the home depot right um see you later i ended up picking the shade pine brook and yes finally i can say that this is what i'm looking for um, I don't know why I didn't choose this color right away, but yeah, to me, this really transformed the whole bathroom. I love how it broke the starkness of the space. I mean, now I can see the separation and contrast between the floor and the cabinets. Yay! My husband already jumped into speed of the process. Here, you can see he is installing the tissue and towel holder. Then I went ahead and put up the cabinet handles all in silver because the previous one was already gold. I instantly wanted to organize our things under the sink. Uh, I guess I'm just so hyped up with the newly painted cabinet. Uh, by the way, this two tier storage from Amazon definitely is a game changer. It lets me stock more toiletries and also keep them all organized. We are almost done and now it's time for the finishing touches. Uh, I didn't want to spend on the decor anymore so here I am repurposing whatever I can find here at home. This beautiful quartz is supposed to be a drawer knob that I got from Etsy a long time ago and now I'm going to use it as my necklace holder. The space still looks boring with our old lighting but I didn't want to change it so I thought I'm just going to use this rattan piece that I have uh, been keeping for future projects. Then I started cutting the rattan based on the height of our light, hang it using wires and ta-da! I still have some extra rattan so I just put it in my frame and there you have it! Instant stunning piece! Now for this wall right here, I'm just going to use this shelf that has been laying here since we changed the decor in my son's area and just putting some pieces to tie everything together. I am using these bins that I also got from Ikea a while back and I'm transferring the stuff that I have so it won't be seen if it's not in use and to avoid the cluttered look as well. Finally replacing our toothbrush holder with this beautiful glass on target and replacing our toothbrush with this wooden one. Of course, replacing our old hamper with this matching one. And don't ask me what this stone is for, I just find it cute. One of the highlights of this makeover I am so excited for this is this under the cabinet motion sensor light that I got from Amazon. This makes the bathroom stunning even without turning the lights on at night. Frogs and we are done! Here is a breakdown of our DIY bathroom is over. I am beyond satisfied with the result. For under $200, I was able to give more character to the space and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. Okay. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope this inspired you to do a makeover or just a simple cleaning or organizing any space in your home. I know all of us are staying at home now more than ever, so it's nice that we like what we're seeing, right? So are you ready for the result? I am too, so I now present to you our newly transformed bathroom. Enjoy!
love in the comment section what you like the most in this mini transformation. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye everyone! Ooh,